10 Habits That Destroy Confidence Self-confidence is one of those intangible qualities that is difficult to describe. It affects practically every aspect of our lives, including how we feel about ourselves, how others view us, and how we perform in school and at work. It may be described as a feeling of trust in one's qualities, abilities, and judgment. Even though lack of confidence can be caused by debilitating social anxiety or other conditions of mental health that impact one's self-perception, this is not always the case. You may be unaware that you have certain subconscious habits that are undermining your confidence. Let's look at some of these tendencies and behaviors so you can learn to recognize them and begin developing good habits instead. Number 1. Compromise on standards. Accepting less than what you deserve means lowering your standards to be okay with whatever occurs. Yes, certain things will be more comfortable or convenient for you if you lower your standards. Even though it may be an easy solution right now, it won't boost your confidence in the long term. In fact, lowering your standards diminishes your self-worth and generates more difficulties than it solves. Additionally, it's a precipice that once you start using it for one thing, it gets easier to use it for other things as well. It's okay if we may not all hold the same values, but having a set of standards and sticking to them will make you happier and more confident. Number 2. Obsessing over minor flaws. Do you quickly notice even the minor imperfections in your appearance when you look in the mirror? Do you become stuck on this flaw and amplify it in your thoughts until it feels like it is all you can see? In this case, you need to stop. This practice destroys confidence. Hyper-focusing on your imperfections might make you despise what you see, even if you believe you are just being honest with yourself. When this occurs, your focus changes from admiring all of your best qualities to constantly scrutinizing everything you believe to be flawed. Your self-criticism ritual makes you feel depressed, inadequate, and embarrassed. It's not the ideal environment for having a confident mindset. Try utilizing the same energy to focus on the positive aspects of yourself, rather than obsessing over minor flaws. It may seem odd at first, because optimism is sometimes hard won when skepticism has become a habit. But everyday practice will change the way you feel about yourself, just like with any new habit that's worthwhile developing. Number 3. Neglecting Appearance You already know very well the significance of proper hygiene and that you should take care of your health and appearance. One of the most crucial things to remember is that neglecting your appearance is essentially expressing disrespect for yourself. Moreover, if you do not feel good about how you seem, it will affect your self-esteem, especially in social situations. Although it can seem like a minor aspect, taking good care of your looks can actually do a lot to boost your self-confidence. Number 4. Overcomplimenting of others. Overcomplimenting people is essentially telling them how much better they are than you. Obviously, it's vital to boost others up, but if you do so excessively and present yourself as a small fish in comparison, you will begin to believe this narrative. Instead of continuing this pattern of overly complimenting others and underrating yourself, take some time to appreciate your own abilities. Keep in mind that each person has unique strengths and weaknesses. In fact, none of us would stand out in the crowd if we were all the same. Don't overlook your qualities because each of us has something unique to offer. Number 5. Self-deprecation. There is a clear line between being self-deprecating and taking it too far. Although self-deprecation is intended to demonstrate that you're a normal person, who doesn't take himself too seriously, it might, in some situations, come off as insecure. Additionally, if you continuously condemn yourself, others will notice and either become weary of hearing it, or begin to suspect that perhaps you're not as great as you look. In a professional environment, such as a job interview, if you must bring up a flaw, frame it as a potential area of improvement. It will demonstrate your willingness and desire to acquire new abilities and excel in more areas than simply those that come naturally, even though there are still things you can still do better. Number 6. Believing in negative self-talk. If you are like most individuals, you probably experience negative thoughts about yourself occasionally. Unfortunately, it is far simpler to trust the negative things we tell ourselves than the positive ones. And, in the long term, this way of thinking diminishes your self-esteem and confidence, making it more difficult to believe in yourself and accomplish your goals. Although positive affirmations may assist in breaking some of these thinking patterns, knowing how to not take your negative self-talk so seriously in the first place is much more helpful. 
it will give you a more objective perception of life, encouraging you toward better happiness and, as a result, more confidence. Number 7. Allowing others to make decisions for you. If you don't know what you want or don't believe your opinions are important, it's impossible to be confident. Expressing your desires in honest, empowering ways helps you gain confidence. This is only possible when you pay attention to your inner voice, have faith in your judgment, and act on your desires. Your confidence will deteriorate if someone controls or manipulates you, dictates what they think should occur, or pressures you into doing anything without taking into consideration your interests. Number 8. Excessive Apologizing Do you ever find yourself apologizing to others when they accidentally bump into you? While apologies may be effective and significant, always being courteous or saying sorry might undermine your self-assurance. Frequent apologies can make you appear unsure of yourself, as if you have zero confidence in your abilities or decisions. You should not apologize for things you know aren't your fault, or for anything you don't regret. By doing so, you assign blame to yourself and make people believe that you are at fault. Apologies should only be made when necessary, otherwise, they lose their efficacy and meaning. Number 9. Toxic Relationships The relationships you have in your life have a big impact on how confident you are. This is because everyone around you influences how you think and feel about yourself. Your family, friends, co-workers, and even acquaintances all have an effect on your self-esteem. Your confidence will diminish if people around you are continuously criticizing or belittling you. So take a step back and think about whether your relationships are beneficial for both parties involved, especially if your confidence has suffered as a result of being with these people. To be confident and aggressive, you must surround yourself with positive individuals who care about your well-being as much as they do about their own. Number 10. Self-comparing to others. After becoming a part of the social media feed, you start to notice that other people are achieving their goals more quickly than you. Perhaps they have a fancier house, a better job, or are happily married, while you are having difficulty with dating. You experience feelings of jealousy, insecurity, and maybe even fury because these people have something you don't. But hold on, is it truly as bad as it seems to be? Humans naturally compare themselves to others because we are wired to look for differences and make judgments. But if you ignore it, this behavior can be destructive to your self-esteem. It might make you feel jealous or resentful of others' success. Instead, make an effort to concentrate on your own personal qualities. And keep in mind that even if they may look similar at first sight, everyone's path is different. All of these bad habits are indicators of poor confidence. Although some of them might seem harmless, if neglected for an extended period of time, they can cause significant damage. The secret is to recognize these pitfalls as they appear. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.